So we're putting a top on the Jeep for our next little adventure that we take it on because it's supposed to be cold. I had this top, which I thought was for a 3B when I picked it up. Um, never really measured it. Uh, it was not on a vehicle when I bought it, but it turns out it's for a 2A and I should have known better. I should have looked at it over a little bit more. So I don't want to butcher it all up. I do have a 2A. So what I have decided to do instead is I've got some sheets of different material. We're just going to build a top. So here we go. Let's see how it turns out. Well guys, uh, the frame is basically done. I am going to run one little gusset from here down to here just to firm up the sides. And then I'm gonna just make a, a little box that will go down in the back section. Um, probably it'll just run across and then tie back into itself. So, uh, not much to it. I did cheat, just use some zip screws to put that together. I gotta finish welding it all together. So it's just gonna be a little wedge. I was gonna try to bend uh, my little, it's like 24 gauge, maybe even 26 gauge tin in the brake, but it just didn't have the oomph. So I'm gonna take it over to my other brake and use that, because this is just a vinyl siding for flashing. So it doesn't have much strength. So that is it so far. When I bring the piece back with the angle, and then I will get the next one so I'm kind of kind of just going to put one piece on the whole top and then maybe figure out a way to do a couple neat little bends to tie it into the sides. So that is the framework so far. Okay, I'm just trying to keep all my pop rivets nice and equal in their spacing, just so that it looks a little bit decent and so it pulls it down nice and tight. So I'm gonna pop rivet the whole rest of the top piece on and then start on the back. back window you can actually see I also painted it black uh, from the inside hey, you know it's a, it's a real piece of glass out of an old top um, that I had laying around I just made some little channels to hold it in and then some um, windshield uh, sealant put that all the way around and then stuck it in pop riveted it in place so there is the little framework the paint I've got a extra awesome idea for right here ish so uh, i'll show you that later but uh there it is next i can start on the doors all right guys i thought i'd show you how i'm building the doors i'm trying to just make them super simple so i just took a hinge piano hinge mounted it right to the windshield frame disconnect this so it swings and then just kind of boxing it in and then the door actually opens up a little bit. So it will uh, make sure that it stays closed, hopefully. 
Uh, and then my plan is, is to skin it, pop rivet on aluminum, just like we did everything else. And then a large window of some sort here. So that's the plan. We'll see how far we get on this part. Okay, there you can kind of see the door frame. So I'm getting ready to put a little skin on that. The upper for now, uh, I'm gonna try to come up with something for some plexiglass to put in it or something, but uh, it may end up just staying as is and open. Okay, so here's the basic structure of the door. And here is kind of what the door looks like now that it's complete. I'm going to make a little filler panel that will kind of go in here to block wind and then go up on the underside and that will get pop riveted on. But uh, that's the basic look of the top. So I will show it when I get it outside. Okay, so right here, you can see there'd be a big air gap when the skin is on the outside. So what I've done is just made a little piece of flashing and that's gonna go right in there like that. That'll seal on from the front with some pop rivets when the other skin is behind it. So it'll also kind of act as a cover. And then I'll also make a little piece the exact same right down here for the bottom. So that should seal up the bottom part of the top. I still have the top to look at, but here's what it looks like from the other side. So you can see hopefully right along here where it would be letting air in and I'm just gonna put it right up tight to the hinge and that'll be the last piece pop riveted on. So that should help seal in the top. Okay, so the top is pretty much ready. I decided that I was gonna go ahead and uh, tag this one. So, I'm just gonna get it up there, where I think it's pretty much. Right there, looks good. Now I've never used one of these stencils before. So I'm just hopeful that it looks decent. I'm not looking for miracles. So here we go. Maybe that was too much. <laughs> Yeah, well, not too bad. <laughs> the paint is quite glossy for just being rolled on black Rust-Oleum, but I can assure you it's not really that nice in real life. So I'm also going to do one of these. So I think what about there. Okay. Oh yeah, I like that one. That looks real good. All right, we're at the remote location, the mobile fast ad garage. I'll show you what's All going right. on. So I got our little shelter up, which we're gonna use later for cooking and stuff. We're camping. We got the Jeep here, um, but I did not get a couple things done that I wanted to. So one thing we noticed right away is the, even when the Jeep is just idling, it's very loud. So what we're gonna try to do is just take and put a layer of thick duct tape on the entire inside surface just to kind of act as a, a little something to mute some of that sound so we'll do that sound deadening in the roof and then the back walls is in just gorilla tape um, it helps some it's not perfect but it's pretty good so the next thing is is installing the windows i did not have any of the supplies for this so what i picked up was this from menards it's for half inch plywood, it's four feet long. Uh, here you go. If you wanna know what it is, there it is. I think this piece was $7. And then that is an eight footer and it was $9. So definitely buy it in the eight foot lengths if you're gonna 
want it for a little bit of anything else. And we got our little campfire going here in the uh, in our little shelter. So it's warming up nicely. Oh wow, look at that. You can actually see it's starting to fog it up in here. So I'm going to start cutting these, getting them pop riveted in, and then I got some plexiglass to go into the windows. All right, guys, here is what the windows look like. I'll show you a little better later, but there's a little grab handle on the inside, on the outside here. There's so you can slide it. So you got uh, about a foot, foot by 15 inches of opening. And then uh, it just closes and rattles down the road. So we'll let you know how these work in a little bit. Well, here is the Jeep after our little trip. It's a beautiful day out, so I thought I'd just kind of show you real quick. The top um, did not get really damaged at all, just a few scratches in the sides from some brush, driving through some you know little tight spots. As you can see right there, I still need to make a little panel to fill that in, make that a little bit better. But the top did exactly what it was supposed to. It kept us dry, kept us out of the wind, and for the most part, even though there's no heater in the Jeep, it kept us warm. So. Um, I might make some modifications to this top or who knows maybe one of these days. I'll build another one So tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching guys